you got the breathing space in the end, but what was that like to play in? It was a tough game. Um, I think we had to weather the storm a little bit. We had to be really compact, um, uh, out of possession, because we knew they're a good team. They passed the ball really well, but they never really uh, threatened us too much. Um, and I think we're really good in the counter-attack, and, and we showed that tonight. It was your delivery that led to the first goal, and it was very consistent from you on those corner kicks, something that you've been working tirelessly at over the years. Yeah, I've, I've been in and out of corners, to be honest. Set-piece duty, I wasn't on Sunday, and I got the call up again. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to give all my set-pieces away, but I have certainly been working on them. It's a part of my game that I want to be really good at in terms of my dead ball deliveries, and I'm glad it's finally paying off. And in terms of your goal, this up now, was that a cross or was it a shot? That's a secret. Um, <laughs> no, I meant to fire it across. Just fire it across the goal and see what happens. And just lucky that it's came off my book quite nicely and went over the keeper's head and in. Lindsay Hooper for UEFA with Emma Hayes, Chelsea manager. Emma, you've got some breathing space now in Group A. Um, just give me your thoughts on, on hmm. that performance. I think a few years ago, this would have been a type of performance we'd have got frustrated with. I thought we kept our patience, we kept plugging away. We felt in the first half what we did in the final third wasn't by our best level. So we just, I think, improved upon that in the second half. I thought it was a greater intensity to us, made it difficult and, you know, dominant by the end. I thought it was a really strong second half performance from the team. For 70 minutes, Real Madrid did seem to manage to frustrate it, but what was it that they were doing well? No, I think it's just credit the opponent. The same when they played against PSG, you know, they, they defend in a really narrow way. They make it difficult for you to play between them. I think it was more about what we weren't doing. I didn't think in the final third, the decision making, the execution was at our top level. And once we did prove that, the goals went in. I thought we created more clear cut chances. And sometimes you have to work the opponent to do that. It's been quite a few times now when I've spoken to you after a match and said Erin Cuthbert is player of the match. Yeah, she is. She looks so hungry and I just spoke to her about being back on corner taking duty and she took that so seriously tonight. <laughs> no, uh, she takes everything seriously, but uh, she was outstanding. Uh, there wasn't a blade of grass she didn't cover. I thought there was a tenacity to her performance that we've all come to expect, but I think by signing a contract, uh, for me, that's, you know, it confirms you know, a commitment to the club and she loves she loves it so much she really wants to push the team to a higher level and I thought she was outstanding. Finally, the position that you're in in the Champions League now, how are you feeling about it? Better than I did last year, <laughs> I would say. But I know that I remember last year, so I'm cautious about staying completely present and ready for the away, away fixture whenever that is. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks. I think it's 8th of December. Lindsay Hooper for UEFA with Caroline Weir, Real Madrid. Caroline, unfortunately, a 2-0 defeat, but you stayed in the match for so long. You must have felt there was something still in, in it for you at one point. Yeah, I think so. I think to go 0-0 nil -nil at half-time and, and have chances ourselves, we uh, came out in the second half of confidence and I think disappointed, obviously, to lose a goal from a set-piece. But, um, you know, that's one of Chelsea's strengths. So, uh, yeah, I think we played well in parts, but... We didn't create enough and, and, yeah, obviously I've come out with nothing. Yeah, what is it you would have wanted to change if you could on reflection? I think creating more chances. Um, in the final third, I think we had possession and spells, but not really maybe creating enough from that. So, um, yeah, things to build on, but I think, yeah, we'll, we'll take some positives and um, move on. There's still a way to go in the group, but clearly not a great position at the moment. What's the reaction been like in the dressing room to that? Yeah. We know we're in a tough group, obviously Chelsea, PSG, um, top teams. Um, but yeah, we, we play Chelsea at home and, and we know PSG away is a massive one for us. So um, yeah, we'll look forward to those games and, and hopefully get something from them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you.